Hi guys, welcome to Music Theory Grade 2. This is week 4. It's very exciting. We'll be dealing with time signatures covering grouping. Remember grouping and beaming. Let's just remind ourselves some of the rules that we covered in the previous grade. Remember that we only group notes that add up to one beat. So all the notes that add up to one beat, which is a crochet, are grouped and beamed together, showing the position of beats in a bar. You can group beat 1 and 2 together, but you cannot group beat 2 and beat 3 together in a 4-4 four -four time signature. So you can group beat 1 and beat 2 together, but you cannot be group beat 2 to 3 in a 4-4 four -four time signature. You can group beat 3 and 4 together in a 4-4 four -four time signature. Why is that? Because the middle of the 4-4 four -four bar time signature bar must always be visible. The middle note or the middle beat of the 4-4 four -four time signature must always be visible. The third beat may be syncopated if it is a minim. Syncopation simply means displacing a strong beat with a weak beat. So a third beat may be syncopated if it is a minim in a 4-4 four -four time signature. If, if a bar consists of rests only, a semi-brief rest is, is put in place in the middle of the bar, replacing all other rests. 2-4, four, 3-4 four do not add up to a whole, and yet a semi-brief rest is still used. So use a semi-brief rest if the whole bar consists of rests only. Avoid using many rests. Instead of using two quaver rests, rather use one crochet rest. Use a minimum rest if the first two or last two beats in a 4-4 four -four time signature are silent. So a minimum rest may be used for the first two beats or last two beats in a 4-4. Four -four. Exception on using more rest may, may be made in a 4-4 four -four time signature bar when the middle two beats are silent. Two or more rest may be used. So if the middle or, or, or when the middle beat or the middle two beats are silent, two or more rest may be used in a 4-4 four -four time signature. Where a rest comes first in a group of four quavers, group the remaining rest or the remaining quavers together. So if a rest comes first in a group of four quavers, you may group the remaining quavers together. I know the number of, of quavers may not be an even number, but because of the rest, you are allowed to group the remaining together. If a 3-4 bar consists of four quavers, they may be beamed or grouped together. So if a 3-4 bar consists of four quavers, they may be beamed together. If the whole 3-4 bar consists of six quavers, they may also be beamed together. Where a quaver rest comes first in a group of six quavers, beam all the remaining quavers together. If the whole of a 2-4 bar consists of quavers, beam all of them together. A tie can be used between beats if one or if one of the tied notes is a semi quaver so we can use a tie tie can be used if the notes between beats if the notes one of the notes is a semi quaver moving along now let's look at examples of improving groupings the third beat in a 4/4 four -four bar is a strong beat therefore it must be visible So the first example has been given to us. The third beat is not visible. The crochet is beat 1. So this is beat 2 grouped with beat 3. Then a crochet again on beat 4. Let's use an imaginary bar line between beat 1 and beat 2. We can't use an imaginary bar line because these beats have been grouped together. So this is not correct in 4-4. Four -four. The third beat is a strong beat. 
it must be visible. So let's look at the correct example. Beat 1, imaginary bar line, beat 2, imaginary bar line, then the beat 3 is visible. Where it starts, we know where the beat 3 starts. Now we can see as compared to the first example, we couldn't see where the beat 3 starts because it was grouped with beat 2 and beat 4. Beat 1 and 2 are grouped together and 3 and 4 in a 4 4 time signature. In a quadruple simple time, which is same as 4 4, beat 1 and 2 and 3 can be grouped together. Uh, 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 beat 1 and 2, 3 and 4 can be grouped together. See examples below. So beat 1, this is beat 1, beat 2 are grouped together, beat 3 is visible, where it starts we can see, this is beat 3, then in 4, 3 and 4 are grouped together. So beat 2 and 3 can be grouped together. On the below two, for example, beat one and two are separated. The middle beat must be visible as to where it starts. So this is the correct example. On this example, all the beats were grouped together. But since a quaver plus two semiquavers, they give you beat one. So you can just leave that and separate it. Then two quavers also give you one beat. So this would be your beat one. Then this will be your beat 2. Correct. Incorrect. In a 2 4, bar of quavers only, exception can be made for beat 1 and 2 to be grouped together since all notes have an equal value. So, an exception, this is not always the case, an exception can be made for beat 1 and 2 to be grouped together. To be grouped together since all notes have equal value so this exception has a condition all notes must have an equal value in a situation of three or more notes in a beat each beat should be written separately so beat one and two been grouped together since notes have equal value let's move on when there are three beats in a bar, the whole bar must be grouped together. This is also an exception since all these notes have equal value, but it's not always the case. So in this case, so it's a 3-4 bar. Beat 1 can be grouped. Beat 2. And beat 3. So you can have a separation between the three beats. But an exception can be made where all these beats are grouped together. Right. The above rules are not absolute, like I've said. They can be changed depending on the time signature or the number or kind of notes that are used in that particular bar. Let's move on and check how to complete a bar using notes or improving a grouping and the following is a quadruple remember a quadruple is the same as four four simple time signature incomplete we've been given an, an incomplete bar now we have to complete it the first beat is a crochet that's our true then the last beat it's a it's a silent beat which is a demi semi quaver so this is the completed one Beat 1 was a crochet. Beat 2 can also be a crochet. On beat 3, we also used a crochet. Now on beat 4, because of the silent beat or the, uh, the demi-semi-quaver rest, now we are forced to not use a crochet because already the beat has been broken down by the silent or the rest. And so a quaver has been used, semi-quaver and the demi-semi-quaver, Adding a demi semi quaver and with its rest will give you this semi quaver. So it's a completed bar. Then this is an example of an incorrect grouping in a 4 4. Beat 1, then beat 2 and 3 have been grouped together. 
they must be separated so that B3 can be visible. This is the correct grouping. B1, B2, then the separation, imaginary bar line between the beads. You can see. In a 4 4, you cannot group beat 2 and 3 together. Hence, this is correct, incorrect. And this one is the correct one. Improving grouping, triplet, same as 3 4. The first example is incorrect. It starts off with a quaver. And then, semi quavers. And another group of semi quavers and the last bit is a crochet why is this incorrect because the first bit is incorrect it needs to remember group notes that add up to a crochet so this doesn't add up to a crochet we must find little friend for it so that it can add up to a crochet so if this can be grouped with the first two semi quavers then they will make up a crochet this is a half beat quarter beat a quarter when adding all this they should give you beat one then again beat two would be incomplete that means we'll take beat two and join it with this one then this is a it's 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 the same it's one over four which is a quarter plus quarter giving us a half plus a quarter and the last quarter so it's four quarters they give us beat two then the last beat obviously the crochet that's the third beat so this grouping is incorrect as you can see here beat one has been separated beat two grouped together as a group of semi quavers and beat three is a crochet this is the correct grouping. The first beat is incorrect. Example, uh, and as a result, beat two and three are not so clear as to where they start or they begin. Improving grouping. Let's look at another example. This is a two-four example. The first beat and the second beat can be joined together since it's the same note values. The two beats have been joined together to improve the grouping, forming two crochet beats. This is an incorrect grouping. This can be separated. As you can see this side, separated nicely. You can see beat one. When you're adding a semi-quaver, I mean a quaver to two semi-quavers, it gives you beat one. Same thing again, it gives you beat 2. Grouping rests. Rests are also grouped like notes to avoid having many rests in one bar. When grouping or completing a bar with rests, add rests, not notes, and start with rests that have more value. If two or more beats in a quadruple are silent, a two beat rest must be used not to separate rest next to each other so remember the, we said that these rules can change so if two beats in a quadruple are silenced that's a four four two a two beat rest a two beat rest may be used uh, 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 instead of using two separate rest so two semi quavers can be improved by a quaver rest so two quaver rest can be improved by a crochet rest two crochet rest can be improved by a minim rest if the whole bar is silent a semi brief rest may be used and the following is an example Showing how to improve or group rest in a bar. This is not uh, improved. This one is the improved one. 
So as you can see the first two beats are silence, two rests were used and on the second beat again uh, semi-quavers, two semi-quaver rests were used let's just circle that also here and the third beat obviously or the fourth beat is present so a two a two beat rest like we've mentioned here has been used on the first silent two silent beats then the third beat obviously would be a crochet then the fourth beat has been given to us then this one the first two beats it's a two four so we've got quavers on beat one and when it's improved the two quavers are replaced by a crochet rest and obviously this has been given so when the middle two beats of the bar are silent they must be written as two beats see examples below so this simply means in a 4-4 so in a 4-4 bar when the middle two beats are silent remember keep the middle beat visible in the 4-4 bar so they must be written as two beats two separate beats so the first beat is a crochet the second beat and the third beat are silent so a minimum rest was used so to correct that because this means group 2 or b2 is been grouped with b3 which is wrong so we have separated the minimum rest and replaced it with two crochet rest to make our b3 visible completing bars with rest the time signatures will determine the number of silent beats in a bar add a friend next to the provided rest to complete a beat so this is example one of completing bars with rest beat one and two are grouped together with a minimum rest beat three in a four four time signature should always be visible like we've just said let's look at the improved one so the first beat the first two beats can be grouped together and a minimum rest was used to improve minimum to improve the rest grouping b2 was correct then remember b a, 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 a minimum rest was also used here on the incorrect one but now this was incorrect because the third beat would not be visible so that was replaced and instead a, a, a quaver rest was used and a semi quaver rest also used so if you can add this three they will give you the last beat so this beat one plus beat two grouped together beat three is visible and beat four